Along with everything else that's happening tonight, this is the last concert, we hope, in this building for our seniors. Because our concert in May, weather will be perfect and we'll be in the park. So, because this is the last time that they're going to be performing on stage with us, we wanted to, we always take a moment and say thanks. So, as I call your name, Please stand and be recognized. Logan Mann. <laughs> Logan, has, uh, Logan plays the trumpet. He has been in band for seven years. His band highlights include going to Florida, uh, the Marywood Senior Wind Band Celebration, and traveling to the National Wind Band Symposium at Westchester. His plans for next year, he's going to be enlisting in the U.S. Navy. Thank you. And his favorite memory is, was it this year or when you were a freshman? Or both? This year going to Florida. All right, uh, Logan Mann, everybody. <laughs> Ashley Tomasachi. Ashley, did you start in sixth grade or fifth grade? Fifth grade. She put seven years. That's eight years, Ashley. Eight years in band. Her, her band highlights include going to Florida, the National Women's Symposium at Westchester, and other fun trips, and going to, getting to go to district band this year and last year. Plans for next year, she's going to attend Wilkes University to major in psychology and continue running cross country. And her best memories are spending time with friends at Disney and gaining the confidence to perform my first flute recital. Awesome. Ashley Tomasachi, everybody. <laughs> Carl Potter. Yeah. yeah. Carl, did you start in fifth grade? Okay, that's not six years. That's eight years. Eight years he's been playing the trombone. His band highlights include uh, whenever I go to play with another band to see the difference in sound and song choice. His plans for next year are to go to college for music education. Really? Sweet. <laughs> Surprise to me. That's awesome. Uh, and his best memories uh, from his four years in band was his trip to Marywood as a freshman uh, and he, the learning experiences that he took away from that. Carl Potter, everybody. <laughs> Noah Guzzi. <laughs> Noah. Did you play in band in fifth grade? Did hot cross buns count? Yeah, yes, yes it did. That's also eight, not six years. His percussion has more than five letters in it, but that's neither here nor there. He's a percussionist, uh, years you've been in band, eight. His uh, band highlights include Marywood, uh, playing in the Northeastern Youth Wind Ensemble, going to Florida, and traveling to Westchester. His plans for next year continue his, uh, he's in the co-op program now, and he's going to continue work in pursuing a, a career in the public safety field. Uh, his best memories from band, going to Florida my freshman year, and the trip to Camel Beach uh, when we were rained out at Camel Beach and ended up going to a sketchy bowling alley for the, in, for the day. All right, Noah Guzzi, everybody. Jacob Birch. <laughs> Percussion is spelled P-E-R, but not P-U-R, and it's, six, it's eight years, not six years, but what's friends? Okay. Hi, uh, Jake's our drum major, uh, he, and he had, has been an exceptional help for the last four years, but especially this year serving as a uh, drum major. I would be completely lost without him. So. All the joking aside, thank you for all that you do. Uh, his band highlights, Marywood Wind Band Celebrations, Lions Band at Kalahari, uh, Beach Time in Florida, 
and marching in the Parade of Lights. His plans for next year to attend the Word of Life Bible Institute in New York. Uh, and his best memory is the one time in middle school when Mr. LaRusso was, I'm not going to say yelling, but when he was speaking to the band because our rhythm was so bad and fell off the stage mid-yell. <laughs> Yet I persisted. I'm not going to read, and I made an ugh sound when I hit the floor. I'm not <laughs> reading that. Jacob Birch, everybody. And finally, Gerald Wellstead. We should call you Sergeant Gerald with all those pins on your thing. Eight years you've been in band, Gerald. Eight years. Uh, band highlights. Florida, Westchester, district band and district orchestra, that's freshman year, sophomore year, no, sophomore year, junior year, senior year. Region band, freshman year, no, again, sorry, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, region orchestra, seen, you, you should write these down, because he wrote down, you'll remember them. I, Junior year and senior year, three-time member of the Pennsylvania uh, Music Educators Association All-State Band. He, uh, four, three out of four years, and that's only because they canceled it last year, Susquehanna University Honors Band Festival. He is the only uh, known middle school member of the uh, Northeastern Youth Wind Ensemble. He's been in that for six years. Uh, Marywood Junior and Senior Wind Band Celebrations, where after his seventh grade year, he placed no l lower than first chair um, and this June, Jake and Gerald and I will be traveling to Denver, Colorado for a week to participate. They both qualified for the American School Band Directors Association National Honor Band. Whoa. <laughs> we got to write this stuff down, though, really. Plans for next year. He's already been accepted with a presidential scholarship to Marywood University as a music performance major, and we're waiting to hear on his audition results from Westchester. So he'll be one of those schools next year as a music performance major. Um, I thought I was going to get through the whole thing. Best memory from your four years in band during our annual or our biannual trip to Florida as a freshman, all of our instruments were stolen. So we had an extra day at Universal Studios. Thanks, Gerald. <laughs> Gerald Wellstead, everybody. <laughs> to all of you that are graduating, this has not been the easiest four years by any stretch. Um, I, I couldn't have imagined at when you were freshmen and the band that you played in then, um, having the difficult time that we've had just trying to make a band for the last four years. So I appreciate all of your persistence and thank you. We will stand on your shoulders as we uh, move on. Yes, Nick. Nick, did you turn in one of the papers? I didn't get a paper. <laughs> Nick Burkle, everybody. This is Nick's second year in band. Last year, he basically taught himself to play alto saxophone. Uh, Nick's an, a, a, actually an incredible musician, uh, and it was very easy for him once we kind of worked out wh where your fingers go and what they do. Uh, and he's been a valuable member of the ensemble this year and actually got to travel to Susquehanna University and participate in their honor band in his first year of, band, of actual band playing. Uh, do you want to tell me what your favorite memory was? Okay, and how, where do you do next year? What? And what are your plans for next year? Uh, I'm going to study mechanical engineering in Michigan. University of Michigan? No. Okay, just in Michigan. Good, don't go to the University of Michigan. Boo. Go Penn State. <laughs> um, that's right. I know, I'm going to get it. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, so uh, you're going to be pursuing mechanical engineering at a university in Michigan? Yes. Nick Burkle, everybody. We got them all. <laughs> Details. Okay, so as I was saying, thank you for all that you've done. We will stand on your shoulders as we go forward. And 
We will continue our growth. We could not have gotten to where we are without all of you. So thank you. One more piece. And then it's your turn. It's okay. The, the alumni have been very, very well behaved. I'm, it's amazing. You didn't even know they were here. Okay, while they're doing chairs and stands. 11 years ago when I got here, going through all of the stuff that you have to learn when you come to a new place. And Mrs. Slater, who was the admin secretary at the time, shout out Mrs. Slater, she's watching on live stream. Um, 
she handed me a packet and said, this packet says alma mater, but I don't know if I've ever heard it. Okay. And it kind of went on the desk. And then every year I'd, I'd see it and i go, well, we should do something with this. And then Florida trips and concerts and festivals and every year goes by. So right before the pandemic started, I had reached out to a very good friend of mine who was actually here maybe a year or two earlier as a soloist. He soloed with the high school band, a uh, phenomenal euphonium soloist, uh, and a great composer and arranger. And I said, hey, dude, what do you think about this? And he was all about it. And then, like two weeks later, the world shut down, and I, again, everything else came to the forefront. And it was always kind of, that packet was always on my desk. And so over the summer, I reached out to him and I said, hey, why don't we like make this a thing now? It's kind of like part of the comeback tour of 21, 22. And he was all about it. And the first weekend in November, it was um, actually at the beach. And I got an email at, at, if you know this person, as well as I do, at one o'clock in the morning. It's not very um, out of character to receive an email from Mr. Bonner at one in the morning. And uh, in it was a stack of parts and a recording of the Blue Ridge alma mater. So it's the same alma mater that was performed from the time that the building was combined, the buildings were combined in the 50s, all the way up until they just stopped performing it. And um, what we figured out is we have the music and we have reset the music for one of the seven verses that exist for the alma mater. The problem with the other six is that the words don't fix, fit the music. So I need to find a New Milford Halstead Great Bend historian that can kind of explain to me how the other music, how the other words fit in. So what you're going to hear tonight is what's going to be the Blue Ridge alma mater from now until the end of time, because I said so. Um, it's the first verse. It's technically the third verse, but it's the first verse because it's the one we have the words to. Um, and the words are printed in your program, and we are lucky enough to have a few members of our high school choir that are going to be joining us. Are they close by? Does anybody know? There, there they are. Yay! And they're going to they're going to sing while we play. The balance is not going to be great, so the words are there for you to follow along. Uh, and we've also invited alumni back, and they came today at two o'clock, and a lot of them were very worried that they were going to forget everything that. Like they, this is the first time some of them have played their instruments since the last concert in the park when they graduated. Let me tell you, the, we played through the thing twice. There were very few wrong notes the first time and almost none the second time. Um, we started 15 minutes late, which if you know me is extremely out of character, but the most exciting part for me was I walked in the room at two o'clock and they were just kind of catching up. And so I'm like, all right, so we took 15 minutes and they just kind of, you know, they, some of them haven't seen each other in years. So it was very cool to kind of, that idea of program. It's not just, oh, we do band and then they leave. Um, so come on up, guys. Yeah. If you need a chair or stand, just raise your hand and someone will bring you one. Okay. We are lucky enough that the composer, or I'd say the person who did this arrangement, is here, and he came on Thursday and worked with the bands on Thursday and Friday and, and taught some incredible lessons. So do you want to come up and just say hi? All right, I'd like to introduce everybody. This is Mr. Drew Bonner. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, so. As Mr. LaRusso says, I was here about uh, six years ago, and I performed with the band then. And I was aware of j just being here for that short time, those two days, um, I, I became aware of, of how much Mr. LaRusso is a part of this community. And then when he contacted me about this alma mater project, um, the thing about an alma mater is that it's it's not just for the band kids. It's not it's not just for even just the, the high school kids. It's for the entire community. And um, I just wanted to tell you that it is rare <laughs> to have that kind of person running 
a music department like this, running a band department, and um, you all are extremely lucky. I currently live in, the, uh, in Iowa. I'm getting my doctorate in music. At the, no, it's okay. <laughs> That's not important. <laughs> oh, yeah, not important. Don't Iowa basketball. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, I've lived in Texas. I've lived in Arizona. I've worked with a lot of high school bands, a lot of middle school bands around the country. I've worked with a lot of musicians around the world. And what you have here is special. And I want to thank you all for investing your time and energy into your students up here. And I also just want to give Mr. LaRusso, as he's helping set up this <laughs> band, a humongous round of applause for all the work he does. So thank you, Mr. LaRusso. what happens when the band director is the tech guy. Mrs. Tench, could you turn this microphone up just a little bit? Because they don't put it as close to their mouth as I do. It's going to make you hold it, but I'm not that big of a deal. Success. No. <laughs> Don't sing, they'll hear you. Who? Oh. Pass. Do you need any? You good? Do you need a starting note? Yes. I mean, we're going to play the intro, and that'd be enough. 